Please be advised that this video is for the sole purpose of entertainment. Any views of purely my own are subjective and may not necessarily be true. I do, however, do extensive research for all of my videos. All photos have been found on the public domain. I am using them under the Fair Use and Fair Dealing guidelines. I urge everybody to do their own research. Well, hello, it's Murky Meg here. It's Sunday the 23rd of August and this is my second video today so if you haven't seen my first one I spoke about the Commonwealth Trust video that Harry and Meghan did and also her When We All Vote video. If you haven't seen it I've put a link in the top right hand corner. You can click on it now and it will take you directly to it. In this particular video I'm going to be discussing the fiasco that was the baby to baby charity outing that Harry and Meghan did. It. Now they went all the way down to Los Angeles on Wednesday. It only hit the news on Friday when baby to baby posted thank you to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for joining our team to help us distribute school supplies, clothing, hygiene items, food and more to children who need the basics essentials more than ever during this unprecedented back to school season. Now initially when I saw that they'd done this I took a step back, thought with my logical head and thought wow that's actually a really lovely thing for them to do. It's especially good because they were both out there just doing what they should be doing and that's helping people. If they were members of the royal family still that's exactly what they would be doing here and I had to commend them for doing that and then I started to look at it with a more analytical mind. When you actually look at the photos they are copyrighted to Harry and Meghan and also their professional photographer. Now this is where the problem I have with it is that true humanity humanitarians don't do it for PR. They don't take a professional photographer. It would have been much more of a big oomph moment if they would have used photos from people's phones. It would have had a much bigger impact because it would have just seemed to be spontaneous. This doesn't seem to be spontaneous at all. It seems planned, it seems orchestrated, and it seems like a huge photo opportunity and a PR push. Now, there was an interesting comment on the Daily Mail section which says, when baby Two baby was approached and asked about Harry and Meghan's involvement with the charity, a spokesman said, none until today. We got a call from their PR team to ask if they could turn up and help out. They showed up with a posse of photographers, took a couple of shots of them passing stuff through car windows, and then they were gone. They were here about 10 minutes. Of course, sources close to Harry and Meghan refused to confirm or deny that that happened. There was also an intriguing blind on Crazy Days and Nights which said they could have driven. In the past, the illiterate former actress could have no choice but to drive. Now though, she tried and failed to get a charity to pay for a private jet, but in the end had to get a husband to pay for the 25 minute flight. Nothing like blowing through several thousand dollars each way because you feel too important to drive for two hours. Now, like with all these comments, you always have to say that they're not proven, they are just speculative calculation. But we do know that Harry and especially Meghan love a private jet. And also someone that Meghan has been close to in the past is Justin Trudeau. Now he is also involved in a little bit of a charity scandal because Mr Trudeau is facing a third ethics investigation of his five years in office over the government's decision to task we with administering the programme. Now we charity in Canada are widely credited by running a new program for students hard hit by the economic slump. Now, 900 million Canadian dollars was originally earmarked for this WE program designed to connect post-secondary students to volunteer opportunities for which they would later receive a grant to make up for the summer job prospects that had disappeared during the pandemic. But it now transpired that Mr. Trudeau's mother and brother have been paid for speaking at various WE events over the years. His mother has been paid over a quarter of a million Canadian dollars for speaking at 28 WE events over four years and his brother has been paid 32,000 Canadian dollars for speaking at eight 
events. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the world of politics and the people that will speak on behalf of them. There is so much backpedaling and backhanding going on and money to be made everywhere. Mark my words, this is exactly the type of thing that will be bumping up Harry and Meghan's bank balance under the table deals from charities for them to speak at events. Well, you know, you've got to look at the people that you surround yourselves with and you've got to understand that those people make you and if those people fall, you'll be connected with them. Going back to the private jet that has been suggested that they asked for, I don't think this is typically uncalled for in Hollywood. I think that the majority of big A-list celebrities would expect nothing less. If they're going to be doing a PR opportunity for a huge charity, they would expect to be ferried there and back on the charity's dime. Unfortunately, because of the optics of this and who they are, it now looks really, really bad. And I hope that the media pick up on this and look into whether or not Harry and Meghan asked for a private jet to be flown them from Santa Barbara to Los Angeles on the company's money. And I really hope that the charities start to wake up to the fact that she's in this for herself. She's not doing this for the charity. It's purely a PR opportunity to make her brand stronger. True humanitarians stick with the charity you're working with. They develop relationships. They work and build up and make sure that they have the most reach and opportunities and to be publicized and get the word out there. They build up the respect and the relationship. They don't come in, drop and leave and never to be seen again. That's not a true humanitarian at all. That's a photo opportunity. And it's already been done by the Duchess of Cambridge, Catherine. She did the supporting baby banks a couple of weeks ago. This wasn't a charity that she just simply went in, did a photo opportunity and left. She brought together 19 British brands and retailers to donate over a thousand new items to more than 40 baby banks nationwide. She did this. This was her concept. It wasn't a photo opportunity. It was her idea. Now, I don't normally like to pit the two women against each other. I hate doing it. But on this occasion, you have to, don't you? On the one hand, you've got Duchess Catherine doing the actual organising of getting together all of those brands to help those baby banks. And then you've got Duchess Meghan. I'm sorry I had to refer to her in the same name as I did Catherine because that is her title. I don't like to do it. But if I don't do it, I'll get screamed at. Just dropping in on an event. Polar opposites, isn't it? One's a force for change and the other one is a force for a photo op. I'd like to point out that at this Baby to Baby event, the volunteers were wearing black t-shirts with the Baby to Baby logo on them. Harry and Meghan weren't. That to me seems rather unusual. Why weren't they wearing the branding? You've got to ask that question. Why weren't, if they were there to promote this, why weren't they wearing the branding? They did with the homeboy bakery. They had the homeboy and homegirl, didn't they, on their particular aprons. Why were they not dressed like the other volunteers? Tears. Another interesting fact, and Chris Ship on Twitter, when he tweeted about the event, he also said, we are told that Meghan's mask is by Royal Jelly NYC, a New York-based black female founded company. So she's merching the masks. Of course, Meghan's mirror confirmed this as they always do with everything that Meghan wears. When Chris Ship was asked who told him who the masks were by, he responded, they're people. Playing devil's advocate here, this was also done when Catherine did her event for the baby boxes. Her mask was also publicised and where anybody who wanted it could get it from. I think what they're doing out there can be incredibly important if they stick with the charity and run with it. If they're just going to be choosing a different charity every month and then hitting it and then leaving them alone, that doesn't do anybody any good. The real work and the real test of a true humanitarian is sticking with the charity and building
building it up, building their brand, working with them, reinforcing what they have to do. But to me, they're not doing that. I can see from their past, they've been involved with the Angels Project, the LA with the food. They've done the Homeboy Bakery. They've done this. Where else are they going to hit hard next? Because they just need to focus on one and build it up. And what it looks like to me is that they're just trying to spread themselves thin, make it look like they're doing lots and lots and lots of work. when ultimately, they're not really doing a massive amount to their potential that they could be doing. By just choosing a few charities, working with them once and running, does that charity no good? Because ultimately what happens is that you remember them, but the next event that Harry and Meghan do for a completely different charity, you'll forget the previous charities and focus on that charity. Work with a couple of charities and build their brand and build your relationship up. It's the only way to do it if you want to really truly make a difference. Spread yourself thinly and it looks like you're doing it for photo opportunities, which is exactly what what this has come off as. And let's just take a look at the board of directors. There's quite a lot of people on there that have already been connected to Megan or could open some major doors for her. So I would love to know your thoughts on all the things that I've covered in today's video. Do you believe the blind that suggested that she tried to ask the charity for a private jet but was told no so she got Harry to pay for one instead? What about them just turning up for 10 minutes? minutes leaving and getting their photo opportunity and why do you think they did this because it seems to me they were just trying to copy Duchess Kate it just seems really strange that she did one at the beginning of August and then up pops Meghan and Harry doing almost virtually the same thing it does reek a little bit of desperation if I'm perfectly honest I would love to know your thoughts on everything that I've covered in today's video Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.